Jennifer? Um, did you see about that story about that girl that got involuntary manslaughter for encouraging her friend to commit suicide? Do you have yeah. Any yeah. What do you think I about that? Well, I mean, I, I so first of all, I haven't read the transcript, so I don't know what she actually said. Uh, you'd have to read the transcripts because I don't trust, I don't trust the press to actually, you know, convey to us what actually was said. So I would, I would read the transcript. Um, you know, I'm, I don't think you can convince somebody. I mean, I don't think you, if somebody is going to commit suicide, I don't think you convincing them as manslaughter or you encouraging them as manslaughter. So while she might be a horrible person to not try to talk her boyfriend out of killing himself, I don't think she is legally liable for that. Uh, so, I, I, you know, let's assume that she really did say, oh, go do it. Or, you know, it also depends how she said it. But it strikes me she's probably just a horrible person. But I don't see how you convict somebody of manslaughter for that. Um, suicide shouldn't be a crime. So it's not like she killed him. It's not like she um, she encouraged him to do what he was doing already. I don't think you can, you know, I don't think you can convince people to commit suicide that, or incite people to commit suicide. I have to think about it. I, I'm not sure, but it strikes me as, as far-fetched the verdict while I think one has to morally condemn her for, for, for doing what she did. I'm not sure if there's legal remedy there. So like he, you're saying he had the right to do that anyway, unlike murdering someone else, which obviously you don't have the right to do. Yep. So that you never have a right. So if I incite you and I tell you, go kill Darius and go slit his throat and you get all, then I'm part of, I'm part of the conspiracy to kill Darius. It's still mainly your fault, but I would also be tried as a conspirator, as a co-conspirator to do it. Um, but that is that is murder is is is, is illegal. It's 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 immoral. It's wrong. It's in, in any judicial system. Suicide is not exactly the same thing. It's not like he was a happy kid living a happy life and uh, she just went after him and you know destroyed his life and they con con convinced him to commit suicide as the ultimate act of you know. He was going to commit suicide. She egged him along a little bit. I don't know that that's criminal. You have to ask a lawyer, but um, it doesn't strike me as that would, should be a, a criminal offense. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll hear from my lawyer friends tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're on. You, we hear about these occasional cults where you yeah. know, the cult leader convinces everyone to, to commit suicide. Um, I mean, that's different. That's almost a form of um, uh, physical force. It's manipulating people who are just mentally weak. Yes, I think that's, that's clear manipulation. I mean, again, if, if the kid had doubts about committing suicide and she just pushed him towards it. And it, oh, my Apple Watch is talking to me. Um, and, 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 you know, but, but he was suicidal anyway. And, and now she just egged him on. I think the cult leader is very different. I think he's culpable. Um, it's not clear exactly what he's culpable of, right? If they, now, if he hands them the Kool-Aid, then clearly, you know, he's killing them. But if he just says, you know, tonight, slit your throats when you go to bed, he's culpable, but exactly what you would accuse him of, I, you know, I don't know. There is something I'm sure in the law about, taking advantage of, of weak-minded people or manipulating or brainwashing people. But it's very dangerous and it's very tricky to define what exactly those things are. And you, I think you'd have to be careful on how you define them. Um, 